What's up, guys? It's High Rate of Ruin, and today we are, hang on, and today we are gonna just, we're gonna do a product, well, we're just gonna do an overview of what the Toy-Con Labo is, vehicle kit. So, if you guys aren't familiar with what Labo is, it's something that Nintendo Switch does with it, and I'm not sure I said that right. How do you put it? It's basically a cardboard that you put joy cons in and then that's what makes this come to life as what they say so the first thing i want to go over is the pedal since it was the first thing i ever made so don't press it too hard or else the, the rubber band will come off like that i can i know how to repair it since i've done it but that and then there's also the fact that of this thing coming off how you repair it is so simple you just put this here put this boom job done so it's so um just so these take a few like just parts to re fix. This is the pedal, obviously, like I said. Some games work and I'll explain about the games later. This is the plane. If you don't know that it, this was the first uh this was the second thing I made that I was able to go into adventure mode. And right after this thing, I'll explain more about this. The key. I, I it doesn't look like a key. But let me get the Joy Cons. The key, it, it does. The key, which is what they call it, is what you insert to these Toy Cons or the cardboard, for example, and then it reads the reflective tape. So the reason why this Joy Con specifically goes in it, because if you look on the bottom, there's an IR camera, motion camera, I believe, and that is physically a camera. Like if I looked, like if I cut off this screen protector you would have seen a camera and how that works is I, I don't think you guys can see but if you look very very closely there is reflective tape and this tape reflects a lot of times even sometimes in the dark that may not be accurate but yeah it still does you can still move around the joy con in the key still got this back button this thing over here the clicks that's the L button. So if I open up the key, press this. Now, they just built this so it's fun and so the Joy-Con doesn't get stuck inside these things. Because I put this alone, like the Joy-Con, inside that. It did not end well. I had to pull it out. But it didn't break anything. And the Joy-Con, uh, Toy-Con Labo, plane, the vehicle, what was it? Toy-Con plane, which is this, is very cool. I like it because mainly it's a plane. You get missiles. This is a missile. You know how in the Air Force shows, like, you just see these guys, like, pull the trigger? Fire. Yeah, that's like that. And you can lock on to stuff, just like a real missile would in a plane. They do that a lot. And if, you, and if you're in flight or on good drive, if you hold this, you can see what your goals are, the map, and all that stuff. Now, the pedal is going to work for either one. The submarine, the plane, and the vehicle. A.K.A. the, the vehicle is what I mean. Toy-Con car. Now, I watched, this YouTube, I watched this YouTube video about why um, the Labo vehicle kit triggers you. And he said that it's just an overpriced... A uh, cardboard box, dude. Come on, this, this. If I, I'm gonna open it, okay? I'm gonna open it, and he's and I was quite upset at him for actually saying that because it's not overpriced. You actually have fun with it, and it actually matters. Sure, it's just cardboard and rubber. It's here's what happens. This, as you guys can see, the materials that you can see out here are some string cardboard obviously and if you look deep in reflective tape and some rubber band guess what that is what it is before you put the key in because here's the thing i know what you guys are asking can it it will work either way if you don't put it in or not it does work if you put it in and if you take it out i can do some gameplay a little later into the video but yes it does work and i have done it 
I think the vehicle kit is around. I think we got two kits, the VR and the vehicle kit. I think both of them cost sixty dollars. I think it's the variety kit. I, the variety kit cost two hundred, so we didn't get that. And it was a surprise for. It was just a surprise for me, and I thanked him a lot because I've always wanted Labo. Anyway, like I said, we're gonna get into now ToyCon um, car. Now, like I said, I will open it in three, two, one. Let me open it. Come on, just open up. It's okay. This is what's inside this cardboard. Yeah, this isn't just a plain piece of cardboard. This is, this took me, I think almost around an entire day to make. As you guys can see, it looks hard to make, but in fact it wasn't. It just took a lot of steps. The first thing you, know, you build before this is this thing. And as you can see, the IR motion camera is over here. And this is the steering wheel, as you guys can see. It has no resistance. So it won't exactly feel like a real, real car, but it does have a good feel to it. On the inside, they call this the engine compartment. Like before you put all this stuff, it, they call it the engine compartment. I don't know why, but remember how I showed you guys that you need to constantly like fix like the pedal? You have to do the same, because a couple of days ago this rubber band fell out and, I, and it was laying like that, and I tried to push it down and up it stayed like that so the rubber band is very important um as you guys can see if one of these things fall out of place it can make a big difference and there's a lot of reflective tape this is what happens on the inside so as you guys can see this is the reverse move down move up these things move and then it senses that it senses this this and it senses this one boom 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 that's literally what everything does. And, uh, hang on. There's some extra rubber band, but I don't see anything to do it. Anywho, so guys, that is just a little bit of the vehicle kit. And I'm going to show you some gameplay in a few. Just hang on one moment I, while I put this together. As you guys can see, I am right now in the Toy Con vehicle kit section and now we're just gonna play so i'm gonna go into play we're gonna do adventure now guys i don't have the submarine just so you guys are aware of that i don't have the submarine because i haven't built it so we're gonna first try on the vehicle kit here's what i like about toy con labo you see it literally knows the joy con colors i'm using i was very surprised when i first saw that so I'm gonna sit back here behind the camera. Oh, Jesus. Oh yeah, did I forget? This, um, the left Joy-Con uses motion control, see? I'm not, I don't even have it on the pedal. So I'm gonna need a, it's very annoying. I should have done this earlier. Okay, so I'm right now in vehicle mode as you guys can see. And I have the steering wheel on my lap since there's a uh, non-slip tape on. So I'm just gonna go around this area. I'm gonna feel up. Oh yeah, I moved this thing. Let let me change it back to. There you go. So this game does have fuel hold. I I have heard that people think it's annoying. I think it's kind of fun. This is an adventure game. And you just want to have fun with like challenges and all that. Okay. I'm right now using that reverse button. I wonder what language this is. So if you guys were like to be where I am, the Joy-Con that's inside the Toy-Con Labo, um, like, the thing that I'm sitting at, literally makes, like, a little bit of music. Like, the vibration sounds like that. 
So since we fueled up and you want to adventure, I'm just going to look at the map. Where do I want to go? Let's just go to an island. So here's what I'm going to do. Where is... So I want you guys to watch this. I'm going to take out this key that happens. Now I'm going to put this down. I'm going to put this in. The reflective tape does do a big difference. So there you guys have it. A good like a good like aspect of what this looks like. I think this product is very good for like very good because for the fact that it just feels good to actually feel like you're flying a plane. And you see these balloons, they're poppable. So I'm gonna so it slows down, I'm gonna walk onto that tree. Locked on. The balloon. There you go. It's extremely oh, okay, let's just do that real quick. I know that wasn't supposed to be what the video I don't think you can do two locks at the same time, but what I do know for sure is that you can definitely lock. And I like that feature. Just for the fact that you're like feel like you're in one of those jets. I mean, I know it's a propeller plane. Oh, come on, eight, eight, eight. Okay, there's eight. Aha. Okay, nine. And where's ten? Aha! I found, I found, I found it. Let me just make a circle around. So I can also adjust the pressure. Oh, darn. Oh, God. I'm going to stall. I'm stalling. I'm stalling. I'm just going to fire randomly. Okay, we're going to turn around. Also, when you are moving, there's a vibration. Ha. Ah. So there you guys have it. There's just a little bit of gameplay. Did some showing of how, like, you change it. I'm going to end the video. Got there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.